All right, so here's my Godzilla Bowser. This custom right here was inspired by this uh, Godzilla Bowser. But I wanted to put my own little twist onto this project. So I left like the spike collars on. As you can see from the from the picture, uh, it doesn't have um, it doesn't have these little spikes, and it feels kind of naked in my opinion. So I wanted to leave them on. I I could have uh, removed them if I wanted to, but again, I like how they how they look. But yeah, this custom was really difficult to make. It's one of my uh, most difficult Bowser customs that I ever made. It's probably right next to my uh, cat Bowser, really. If you want to see a video on that uh, on that custom, I'll put a link in the description. So yeah, at first, uh, to achieve this texture, uh, I grabbed the tail, then put the clay on the, on the stomach or on the on the mouth, and then I'll just press on. That way, I can achieve this texture. But yeah, I really like how this custom turned out, and it's kind of heavy too because of all the clay that I use. Man, look at that detail. This has got to be one of my most detailed customs, like hands down, really. Like I put clay all over the body, for the most part. Like I put clay on the hands, on the arms. Removing the spikes, um... That was really difficult, actually. And I also redid re, uh, the feet because uh, the original feet of uh, Godzilla was kind of small. And Bowser looked kind of silly, so I wanted to make the feet a little bit bigger. That way he didn't have tiny feet. So yeah, you can technically say that the feet are 100% uh, handmade. I feel like... I should have have just left the original legs on to the uh, Bowser, but I don't know. I it works, whatever. Like it, it's actually it has articulation. Like I can move the legs if I wanted to. So that that's kind of cool. And the tail is also articulated. Uh, it has articulation up here and right here. And I also put detail inside his hand. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think about this custom. I wish I can, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to some other, some of my other Bowser customs. Sadly, I no longer have Cat Bowser because somebody bought it off from me. Uh, but I might make one in the future. If you're interested of me making another Bowser, uh, Cat Bowser, let me know. I'll make another video on how, how I made it and stuff like that. Because if you watch my previous Cat Bowser video, if I remember correctly, I don't really show my process, I think. I don't remember, but uh, it's been a while since I made that custom. It's probably like over a year ago. But yeah, let me go ahead and compare uh, him to my other uh, Bowser customs before I, before I end this video. All right, so here is a quick comparison to my Dr. Bowser. By me putting these legs on, it made him a little bit taller, which I kind of like because, you know, you associate Godzilla to be a little bit more bigger. So I kind of like it. So yeah, there's my Dr. Bowser. And here is my Super Mario Odyssey Bowser. And as you guys already know, uh, the hat is removable. And you can see his handsome haircut. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and compare him right next to Mario. Man, look at that comparison. <laughs> he towers over Mario. But hey guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it really means a lot to me. And if you like this video, please leave a like because that will really help me a lot. And also follow me on my social media like Instagram and Facebook. And also my Twitter. Thank you so much for being patient with me, guys. I haven't been uploading so uh, that much because I've been working a lot. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll catch you next time.
Peace out.